So here's how I spend my data analyst salary. I get paid every two weeks and I get paid around $3,000. First things first, I gotta pay Sleepy Joe his $600. This includes federal taxes, state taxes, local taxes, blah, blah, blah taxes. We got taxes for everything. So that leaves me with about $2,400 left. Now onto the fun stuff. So starting off with my 401k. And so every two weeks I contribute $145 to my retirement account. And now we get into some of my insurance. First, a whopping $4 comes out for my dental insurance, a whopping $2 comes out for my vision insurance, and $40 comes out for my medical insurance. And the final thing in my pre-tax deductions is my HSA, which is a health savings account. I contribute about $55 every paycheck. So a health savings account, if you don't know what that is, it's just like a debit card that I get and I can use it for any health care purchase. So if I go to the dentist or the doctor and there's like a copay involved, I can just swipe that. But it comes out before I'm taxed on it, so it's kind of a nice thing to have. And so all these other pre-tax deductions, including my insurance and health savings account, that's another $245 off of that $2,400, which leaves my take-home pay to around $2,100 every two weeks. Now for my personal expenses, the first thing I do when I get my paycheck is take about $1,000 and I put that right on my student loans. I just recently got it under $20,000, so I'm pretty happy about that. So it'll be paid off within a couple of years. So my take-home pay immediately becomes $1,100. I'm a big believer in paying off my debts as soon as I can. I follow the Dave Ramsey plan. So if you want to see a dedicated video on that, let me know down in the comments. The next thing I do, I live with my fiance and her parents. So I give them $50 every paycheck just as a little bit of a rent payment because I'm here and I'm using, you know, toilet paper and stuff like that. I'm also responsible for getting groceries and making dinner a couple of nights a week. So that comes out to about another $200 per paycheck. Of course, everything's really expensive right now. Food is off the charts. So that kind of adds up pretty quickly. And finally, some miscellaneous subscriptions that I have. I have two gym memberships. I have a subscription to a video editing service that I use for this channel. I have my phone bill, and then I have my car insurance. And this comes to about $145 every paycheck. And so finally, that leaves me about $700 for discretionary spending. Now, usually I try to keep this in my bank account in case anything comes up over the two weeks until my next paycheck, but I can kind of spend it however I want. Sometimes I'll take my fiance out to dinner. I love to go golfing, so there's 20 or $30 every few days. But if I have anything left over by the next paycheck, I try to contribute a couple hundred to three hundred dollars into my Roth IRA savings account as well. But if you want to see a video on that, again, let me know down in the comments because I love to talk about that kind of thing. Now, if you want to see how I actually got this job in the first place, go ahead and check this video out next. And thanks for watching.